Okay, this one, they just want you to be able to move the guy left and right when you hit the keys. It kind of, that kind of looks like uh, Muno from Yo Gabba Gabba. Or not Muno, uh, Fufa. Anyway. Alright, so here's our function move player, right? And as before, we put an if statement. And then we put our key down statement. Okay, so when key down, when we press the key down, the right key, we want it to move right. So get our variables that we love so much, and get our sprite, and it's going left to right, which is the X, right? And the name of the alien is player. So player, if you want it to go right, let's see, we're starting, we start at zero on X, right is going up, and we want it to go up by three. So we're going to do some math. So each time you hit the button on the right, it's going to be player x plus 3, right? Because it wants to go by 3. Okay, let's check it out. Run it. Pressing the right button and it's working. Nothing on the left yet. i got to put that in next. So, again, we're going to do the same thing. If in the same function, right? Same function. If variable Dude, get in there. What is the deal? Oh, duh. The key down is what we need to put in there. Key down. Instead of up, we want left. So when the key goes left, our sprite on the X plane, which is player, equals we're going to get some math okay so going to the right is plus so going to the left has got to be minus so get our math drop in the minus this time and again it's player x player x if I can spell minus 3 alright let's run it Okay, left, right, left, it works. Do do do. All right, this one is just like the last one, except instead of going left and right, you want to add up and down functionality. So here it is, the move player. Let's get our control. If If we can find the right one, where is key down? Oh, there it is. Key down. If key down up, get our variable and our sprites. And then we're going Y, right? Because it's up and down instead of left and right. So we call it player. And then going up is we're starting from here is 400. And going up is decreasing. So it's going to be a minus this time. Minus. Player. Y minus 3. Let's run it and see. Up works, left works, right works. No down yet. 
Sounds good. Now we're going to add the down. All right, so we're just adding them all in this move player function. If key down. Down variable sprites. Why? Because it's up and down, right? Why? Player. And then this one was minus, it was going up, so plus is going to be going down. So get our plus function. Math. Why? Because it's going up and down. Player plus three. Now let's run it. Up, down, left, right. Nice. Do do do. All right, so on this one, they want you to, when the guy goes left, you want the uh, little guy to turn his body going left, right? Because right now he's facing right. So we do that in animations. And we're going to make a copy. And we'll call this one walk left. And just to make it match capital R, uh, L, because this one has capital R on the block right. And then we're just going to flip these guys with that ref flip, flip. So now we have alien walk right, alien walk left. And let's get back to coding. Okay, so now that we've got our guys animation set, we need to add them into the movement move player okay so key down right we want to set the animation player animation to walk right and then for left we want to set the animation player to Walk left. Right, let's run it and check it out. Left is good. Oh yeah, it switches left and right. Do do do. All right, this one is actually pretty simple. They just want you to be able to move those bugs when uh, when they uh, get near you. So to do this, we're going to use displace enemies. Right, and where would that be? Fair. Displace enemies. So we just go sprite. Displace. So when the player displaces enemy one. All right, let's run it. Okay, so that's enemy one, right? It's getting displaced, but and enemy two is still there, so we gotta fix that one. It's the same deal, right? Displace player enemy two. Let's check it out. Why is that not working? Oh, because it's enemy. Let's try enemy. That might work nicer. Good. Cool. All right. It's working. Do to do. Okay. So apparently, 
this is a bridge and this is water. And why there's a giant cake, I don't know. But what they want you to do is be able to push the ladybugs into the water and get points. To do this, we're going to go to the enemy's touch water function. Which is right here. Right? And we're going to use that if statement you guys love so much. If below 140, so if the Y is below 140 of the bug, below would be less than. Okay, why, because they're going up and down, if enemy one is less than 140, we want it to go off the, we want it to go off the bridge and reset right so we're gonna set enemy set enemy so now if it gets below less than 140 which is right here so over here it's gonna reset the enemy respawn them we can't figure out what set enemy is what is the problem here all right I think I see what's wrong here I don't have the one remember it all has to match whoa what is going on here it looks like he's freaking out oh my I'm off a mess. I gotta fix this. This should be the opposite way. Alright, shall we try this again? If enemy one You gotta love this co coding. It's, it's the best. All right, let's try this again. Enemy one. Okay, if enemy one is less than one hundred and forty, set enemy one. Okay. That was obviously not it. There we go. All right, now we're in business. So now we have to add the score. <laughs> 